something like that, meaning all, everybody stands back because when that shock happens, you really don't want to be too close nearby because you can strain the electric field. So anyway, that's if you want an application of a capacitor, that's an application of a capacitor. Um, the um, keys on a, on a computer keyboard or something, there's a picture there that's based on a capacitor. Who cares, okay? You want more applications, look at that. But we need something else. We We are going to need this. I love you so much that I'm planting the seeds of physics knowledge in your little brains right now so we can reap this knowledge uh, in early December. So around maybe late November, maybe sort of right before Thanksgiving. Okay. Uh, and that is the notion of energy density. For now, who cares about energy density except it could be on the test. It's not an important concept. But by the time we come to electromagnetic waves, energy density is going to be a big deal. So for now, we, there are good reasons. I'm like an idiot. I erased what I want this year. I'm just on the road today. It's that holiday. Density equals mass over volume. You remember that. It was here five minutes ago. Okay. Energy density is the same type of idea. It's the total amount of energy divided by the volume in which that energy is stored. Okay, now for a parallel plate capacitor, that's basically the electric field between the plates. So what I'm going to say is there's this electric field here. Okay, that's fine. Good. We can't see it anyway. It's like love and the soul and all that good stuff and molecules. But it's there, we know it's there. Uh, that's one way of looking at it. I can also look at it and say, there is an amount of energy stored in that volume. Okay? And I want to describe the density of that energy. So that's going to be in joules per cubic meter. Okay? That could be, a, that, that's a typical lame question, hatred, unhappiness. What is the unit of energy density? And it would be in joules per cubic meter. Uh, you should have enough room to put that on your wrist. Chances of Natalia seeing that, you know, pretty slim. I mean, just just a suggestion. Okay. Uh, putting it on your inner thigh, if you're a guy, and wear a kilt, that sort of, that looks suspicious. <laughs> now, she's, realistically, she's probably not going to inspect it, but still, you can't really risk it. Okay. Did you miss me? I know you did, yeah. Okay, so turns out, if you do all the math, details are not that important, that the energy density of a charge capacitor, any charge capacitor, okay, is equal to one half, this universal constant, and the electric field. And so conceptually, we now think of that energy being associated with the electric field. So sometimes you will hear us say, you know, we're building up and we're charging a capacitor, we're building up an electric field <coughs> with associated energy density. Okay. For now, that's sort of a curiosity of no particular relevance. But like I mentioned, when we come to electromagnetic waves, that is half of the energy in an electromagnetic wave. The other half being the magnetic field. Okay. Notice, very tempting question coming up. What happens to the energy density if I double the field and the answer is the energy density for the rooms. You know. Okay? We ignore the one half because the one half is there before and after we double. So double A E means we double energy density. Yeah? Is U here energy density? Yeah, it's a lowercase U. Uh, I'm a small 